interesting video, I am going to discuss one of the important concept of natural language processing and that is the CKY parsing. So I have already explained what is the CFG and please visit my video for the CFG and in this video I will explain how to convert the CFG into the CNF and then use for the CKY parsing and second part of this video I will explain the probabilistic uh, CKY with help of the subnomical. So what is the meaning of parsing in the natural language processing? So I have explained very big uh, explanation on the parsing in my previous video. I do recommend please read the previous video. I have given the detail in the bottom descriptions. So in short, in NLP, when you take the sentence, it go for the parsing and parsing generate the parse tree with the help of the set of rules or the grammar. But in the case of the CKY, that grammar set should be C and F. So it's only work for the C and F. If your grammars are there on the context free grammar CFG, then you have to convert into the CFG. So suppose why I should go for the CKY. There are many challenges out there in the previous parsing, what I explained in the previous video. One is the ambiguity. Second is the repeated substructure. So if you have the same kind of subset of the structure in the given sentence, so for the same kind of things you have to repeat again and again. And the same recursion. So you have to do the many recursion to achieve the same thing. Because we were not having any concept of the storing the intermediate information of our there, right? And the space complexity and the time complexity very huge in the previous uh, approach, top-down approach and bottom-up approach. And for all this problem, solution is the CKF. So CKF and the probabilistic CKF, we solve many of these problems. So CKF is one of the earliest recognition and the passing algorithm, but thing is that it work only on the CNF. Okay, Chemsky normal form. So let us understand what is the CNF. We have already know what is the CFG in previous video. Let us understand what is the CNF. So it should have the one starting symbol as it is what we had in the CNF um, contest figure CFG. They should have the RSH RSH that was also there in the CFG. Third. RSH, we have only the non-terminal. This is also matched with the CFG, right? Now, fourth is saying RSH can contain only one terminal or two non-terminal. It cannot contain the combination of terminal and the non-terminal. It cannot. It cannot have the single non-terminal. So for better understanding, suppose if you have the rules, A is the cap capital is the non-terminal, small letter is the terminal. So if you have the non-terminal and the terminal, it's okay because it follows is this rule. So this RSH is always the non-terminal, RSH here the one single terminal. So this is okay according to the CNF. Second is saying A, B or C. So both B and C capital letter here, both are the non-terminal. So according to B, this is also okay. It could be. Third, noun phrase could have the noun and the preposition phrase. That is also both are the non-terminal. This is also according to this. Now take the third, next one. Noun phrase can have the the and the n. This is the one is the terminal and second is the non-terminal. So this combination is not possible. So this is not possible. The same way this is not possible for the CNF. But thing is that suppose if you have the one, one rules that is the noun phrase and the and nominal. As this is not possible in the CNF and I have to use the CKY. So only solution is that you have to convert this into the first CNF. But according to CNF, it is not possible. So you have to convert. How to convert? One small trick is that we can introduce the 
dummy non terminal we can never use the dummy terminal we can use the dummy dummy non terminal right so what i will do it is t instead of the the we will use the this is the terminal right instead of this the terminal we will use the one non terminal so now i will have the two non terminal and according to this rule it is okay for the cnf right and further in the next i will decompose this determ uh, this uh, determinant into the d so with the help of these two we can achieve this one right and this is in the form of the cnf so this is the way we convert into the cnf uh, context free grammar into the uh, uh, CNF format. Take one more example. So suppose if you have this uh, context free grammar, noun phrase, determinant, noun, and the preposition phrase. Is it not possible? One, two, three means it is not possible at all in the CNF. So what I will do, I will introduce one new non terminal, nominal, and this two both part, I will take it here. Right? And then if we do the noun phrase here, we will take this determinant here and this nominal here. So we can have uh, the determinant, noun and the phrase. So in this way, we can do that. So, so now once you understand that how to convert, now let me take one example and solve one problem. So but for the simplicity, I am taking one set of rules that is already there in the CNF no need to convert it has been given cnf who has given so as i explained that if this cnf would not have been there then you have to convert into the cnf but just for the uh, in place of the time we have taken the cnf rule. so this rule has been given and this sentence has been given now we have to do the parsing with the help of the cky so let us start what you have to do you have to put the number of the each word so i have given the gap with the intention to given the space here so 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 so we have the 1 2 3 4 5 word so we have to make one 5 cross 5 matrix or you can say the chart or you can say the table anything that we store the information right so let us make one chart for the 5 by 5 so and then do the numbering so when you do the numbering so this the column side we start from the one and the row side we start from the zero okay. now one by one take the words first take the word this is the the come here in the row the is the determinant so we put the determinant here so now if you see the 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 is the uh, is the zero this is between zero and one so same way we can take the zero one so we take the zero one position for the the and what is the zero one position zero and one this is the position right so that's why i have taken the number here so the that is the determinant we will take the determinant here so this is done now take the flight what is the between which number 1 and 2 so go the 1 and 2 position which is the 1 and 2 position so this is the 1 and 2 position here fight will come right in this box and what is the meaning of fight here what is the non terminal so for the fight non terminal is the noun so put the 1 2 noun here or just put the n now this is also done now we have the two word determinant and the noun 
go again in the rule c is any non terminal there which contain the determinant in the noun let us check noun page verb page it is it does not match determinant and noun yes i got it one so determinant and noun is there and the non terminal for this is the noun page so what we have to do we have to put the noun page here because it contain the determinant and the noun and if you see here if you take the straight line and the bottom line both should be indicate means it indicate this is the non terminal rsh part and for this rsh these two are the rsh part so if you can see this one triangle should be made right this triangle should be made so that part is there now take the include include is between the 2 and 3 so 2 and 3 that should come in this box okay include what is the non terminal for include this verb put the verb here so do you have any noun and the verb in the rh side noun and verb we are not getting anything right so we don't have now now takes the a a should be come between 3 and 4 so this is the 3 and this is the 4 a should be come here and what is the a for a we have to use the determinant so i put the determinant here again check for this determinant and the verb do you have anything we don't have anything no problem continue now i have the mill mill should come between the 4 and 5 right so 4 and the 5 here should be come and for the means what is the non terminal for the this is the noun right so now this is the noun now let us check anything is there for the determinant in the noun yes determinant in noun we have the one rules that is the noun phase phase so i put the noun phase here and again you can see here that is applicable here also and they are making the one triangle right now one thing if you see is any rules for the noun phase and the verb let us see do you have anything noun phase and the verb noun phase yes verb and noun phase we have the one rules and that the non terminal is the verb phase so we can put the verb phase here and you can see for this right is matching means for the verb phase we have the verb and the noun so we have the verb and the noun phase right it's matching so now go up uh, this verb phase in the noun we could have anything no then we have the verb phase and noun phase yes we have the noun phase and the verb phase we have the one rule that is called the as so if you see this is the as and if you make it is perfectly working right so this is the way we do the parsing right so this is the c k uh, y parsing so now take one take the same example and make for the probabilistic c k y so now we are going to probabilistic c k y so what happened in the probabilistic c k y so we have been given the probability of this also so here it is given point 80 this one is the point 3 point 20 so now what you have to do in this case we can use the same thing only difference is that we have to put the probability of this one so this the the was here determinant and probability was 0.4 so put the 0.4 
and for this noun noun was the flight and flight probability was 0 0.2 so 0 0.02 now what is the probability of this uh, this one noun phase so here noun phase is mix up of the decomposing determinant and the noun and this noun uh, noun phase probability is the point 3 right so this is the point 3 so it has the point 3 it has the point 4 and this noun has the point 0 2 so what you have to do you have to multiply so 24 into 1 2 3 4 this is coming point zero zero two four. So you can say this is the probability of point zero zero two four. This way we should decide, and this verb verb is the which is the verb. This is the include, right? Include. This is the point zero five. This determinant a point four. This noun is the meal. <coughs> point zero 0.01 so now we have to calculate for this noun phase this noun phase determinate in the noun this noun phase determinate now is the point 0.3 right so what happened in this case for this part noun phase same thing here right so yeah same thing noun phase determinate and this is the noun but for this noun we have the point 0.1 so take the point 0.1 take the point 0.1 so you take the 12. So this is the 12, right? Now for this, for this verb phase, for this, what will be happen? This is the verb and this is the noun verb. Then this is the point 0, 05. This part is called the NP point 0, 0, 1, 2. And this verb phase, which has the verb and the noun, is the point 0.2. So this is the point 0.2. So answer would be the point 0.2 into point 0.5 into point 0.112. So should be this is the 112, 1234567. This is. So this value will come here. 1, 2, 3. Right and uh, yes and now to get this S, what you have to do is S is the noun phase. This part and this part. This part we know already. Point zero zero two four and this verb phase is the and S has been given that the point eight. Right. So let me check. This is the. I am correct this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, something is mistake here. Okay. 4, 2, 5, 7. Okay. This is the way you can calculate. And S, if you find out the S, it become the, uh, it will the, Zero 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 one nine two, and this one is coming the one. So this was the probabilistic uh, CKY. Thank you very much. Please don't forget to subscribe this channel. And the next video would be on the machine translation. That is also one of the very important topic and concept in the uh, NLP. Thank you very much.